We pray for Ukraine or Ukraine. They changed completely. They were not so zealous as before. Before there was more aggressiveness and they tried to tell me all kinds of fake news and were deluding me and all kinds of stuff and make trouble for me a lot. So I had told the protectors to block their messages and their talking to me since long months. But somehow this time the king's reception came through. While I was trying to communicate with some higher heavens God, but then suddenly now everything changed. But I do hope then this is a sign of real peace. Peace will come soon and peace will last forever. And humans, we have more time to repent, to pray for forgiveness from God and from other beings whom they harmed and hurt in any way, in war or in daily slaughtering, just to eat while we have plenty of food on the planet. God gives us so much, so much, so much. Anything we eat would give us enough nutrition if we pray to God to bless our food. But it's okay, we could eat abundantly with all kinds of flavors from the vegetable and fruit kingdom. We don't need to kill kicking, living, breathing beings like animal people just to satisfy our taste. The vegan diet is really tasty already. Every day I enjoy it so much. And I wonder how come no one else enjoys it. I mean, those who still do not believe in vegan. Uh, recently, I mean, since I last talked to you, I do not feel really well inside and outside my heart. And I thought I would never want to speak again with anyone. I thought this world is so helplessly enchanted by the negative power that I would not have enough chances to rescue them or to talk reason into their ears or into their hearts. So I just kept quiet all these months and not talking to you. But those who are working with me directly or almost directly know that I'm still working for the world. I'm working side by side with you all the time by sending you news, directing you on what shows to make, correcting the mistakes of other shows, or approving this and that. And even the letters, like award letters and all that, I have to take care. And business, I also have to take care so that we can continue to support our Supreme Master Television to try as much as we can to remind people to be God-like, to be compassionate as the children of God, and to remember God, not to be engulfed always in the material comfort, because these don't last. If we don't live according to God's commandments and will, then nothing will last, including this whole planet. I'm still having hope to save it. I'm still having hope to save humanity and the animal people so that we can live together in peace with all beings that God has created for us. I work with you all the time, every day. I don't have any vacation. I don't have holidays. And often, often, 
Every night I can't sleep for feeling the pain of the planet, of all beings who live on it. I'm feeling the wrath of heaven, of God. Because God and heavens feel the pain of the beings on this planet, of the humans, of the animal people, and of other species, including big trees and plants. They would be willing to die for us if necessary, but what we do, killing them, taking their lives in agony, is not necessary. It has never been necessary to kill anything. Every religion's first, foremost commandment is, you shall not kill. You shall treat others the way you want to be treated. If you don't want to be killed, like the animal people in the slaughterhouse, if you don't want to be chained, tortured, tormented all your life until you die in agony like that, Then you imagine the animal people, they also don't want it that way. All living things want to stay alive until God calls them home. So please, please, be vegan, make peace. Treat others the way you want to be treated. That's very simple. Be vegan, make peace. Then everything else will go smoothly, peacefully, and your life will be extended, and love and peace will prevail in our world, not suffering, not war, not sorrow. saying these things for many decades already. Okay, not everyone listens to me or listens to other wise teachers or wise friends, but we still continue to keep Supreme Master Television, even though we have to work day and night for it. Me too, yeah, you know that. Every day we exchange work and consult on all these shows. I have to check all the shows before they air, and I have to write many other things as well to incorporate into the shows. And you, all of you, work so hard. I truly appreciate it and love you so much for it, all of you, the team members. May God bless you, bless you, bless you, love you, love you, love you. I protect you, protect you, protect you, wherever you are. Because your work is so important, so important. Sometimes people, your brothers and sisters, or even outsiders, wrote to me, you know, in a hotline or in a letter or in their thoughts, thanking Supreme Master Television for guiding them and bringing them back to their godlike self, that they became vegan, became a peace advocate, became an animal people, activists, etc. Oh, my heart just sings with joy. Otherwise, you know, 
all day long or night long when I have to do the shows and we have to see the animal people suffer in the slaughterhouses because the truth we have to show. My heart is just in pain and pain all the time. And sometimes it also affects my body that I feel not well, well, sick. And sometimes the pain translates into physical pain as well. But I just bear it all for the sake of peace and compassion from all of the people to other beings, weaker beings. I don't mind to bear the pain. Sometimes the karma is so strong that even the strongest medicine doesn't help me at all, so I just bear it. I just feel a little better these last couple of days. Yes. But anyway, I could bear more. I tell God, if this really helps to save this world, to lessen the suffering of humans and all beings on this planet, please don't mind me uh, moaning in pain. Just give me more pain, if it helps. It's just that if it's too much, then I cannot work. I cannot work for you, for your children. So just let it be that it's bearable for me, so that I can still concentrate to do the work that you allotted to me with all my humble gratitude for this privilege and honor because not everyone has such a beautiful and honorable job as the job that I'm doing and as the job that you're doing as well. We work together side by side, even though we're not together. But I always remember you, the team members of Supreme Master Television. I remember all your sacrifices, all your hard work, but please do meditate three times a day as usual. Please don't forget that. You must, in order to work well, to do the job properly and to breathe more positive, uplifting energy into your work. I'm doing that as well, of course. And I always am very grateful to God for such good people like you such noble spirits and wonderful souls that you are. You are my friends, you are my family members, you are my best relatives, you are my husbands, my wives, my lovers, my best. Even though we're not together, but our relationship is like that for me, because we only dedicate our soul, our heart, to our work together looking in the same direction, going on the same path, having the same goal, offering the same effort. So only good partners, only good couples would do this together. I really appreciate that, and I love you so much from all my heart. We don't always need to use human language to express this because language is never enough to tell you how much I love you, how much I appreciate you. We still keep Supreme Master Television, even though I feel that it's working too slow to go into humans' hearts, but it does work, it does work, it does help. Even if we work so hard, but if just one more soul escapes hell and doesn't suffer eternally for eating meat, for killing the animal people, directly or indirectly, our effort is still worthwhile. One person not suffering in hell is one person's whole world for him or her, you know that. Suppose we, one of us, suffer in hell. Imagine how we would like to be free from it. So that's why we have to work hard. That's why we work with our enthusiasm, our hearts, our mind, our soul, and our prayers every day, and our physical bodies. 
we are all mostly not getting any younger, but we still work hard like a young people. And I'm very proud of you. Please do take good care. If you are sick, you must rest. Ask the doctor for advice and take the vitamins I told you of every day. Eat well. If any complaint, not enough food or any problem, let me know. I ask you by writing here and there, now and then. But if you have something, you have to write to me. Don't wait for me to ask. Okay, my friends, my love, my family, I'm very happy to have you on this planet so I don't feel so lonely. I feel supported. I feel loved. I feel privileged to have you. And I thank God every day for your work, for your presence on this planet. And by the way, I just want to say to our viewers and the people at large, please stop killing each other. Please stop all the wars. Because every cut, every injury, every hurt, don't hurt others. Just like you don't want to be hurt. Don't kill the animal people. Don't hurt the animal people. Just like you don't want to be killed like that. You don't want to be hurt like that. Please stop all the wars. Please shut down all the killing slaughterhouses. Please stop all the hunting. The poor animal people, they are helpless. They are beautiful. Every time I see animal people shown on Supreme Master TV, I always tell them, you are beautiful. Bless you, bless you. Because they have souls like we do. And they have feelings of emotion, of intelligence. They know God more than we do. Mark my words. The animal people are more connected with God than many of us are. Except the spiritual practitioners of different schools, especially the ones who practice the light and sound method, like the Kuan Yin method that we are doing. They are connected with God. But the animal people, they are more connected, more naturally connected. 